Clay, get up in here with me. You cut my music off. Me and Clay don't like the same music. That's why he's cutting my music off. No, I was cutting this. So well. I know, you are cutting it for the copyright, wasn't you? Yeah. Look at you, you was watching out for me. <laughs> I know the sun ain't really out. It's 64 degrees and it looks like it's gonna rain. Did it rain last night? Yeah. It's been storming like every single night. We, uh, I don't think I have filmed anything this weekend. Y'all, I should have filmed yesterday. Clay, you just had to cut out all that. No, I'm playing. <laughs> you got to cut out all that noise, boy. I don't know what this was. That's the, uh, it leaked out, I think. It did it. It um. Looked at Hesley. It is the no night. Oh, it is leaking clay. It's the Fred's version yeah, of. It's all in there too. Is it really? Yeah. Oh. Oh, the lid was unscrewed. Oh. Um. Sit it over there by the RV for a second. Okay. Or oh, not for a second. It's it's in there a lot. Yeah, it's all in there. I'll get it when we get back. Um, yeah, it's the Fred's version of Armor All. Because, you know, I like to keep my car clean and shiny and parody. Y'all got my vitamin D gummies. I probably look like a crackhead walking around because it takes me... You, you can't chew these things up. And so I just suck on them like candy till they're gone. And it takes forever. Um, what was I saying? I was going to say something. Uh -huh. Oh, y'all. Should I drive down the road and tell my story? I'm going to drive down the road and tell my story, y'all. I was saying I didn't film this weekend. Damn, I almost swallowed one of these things. Ugh, I was gagging. Um, Clay, why are you leaning out of way? Uh -huh. Get back up here, boy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to tell y'all what happened this weekend. I should have been filming, but I was so mad I couldn't film. Well, I was mad and, and just, it's good, I was just at my wit then. I don't know what you'd call what I was. Okay. Now, y'all know that um, we just got our bedroom fixed. New carpet, the whole nine yards. I love it. Now, we have worked on our house. It was Our house was built. Oh, that's a pretty dump truck. Lord, it's all black and chrome. He be trying to style in his... Uh, <laughs> Oh, I gotta get some new windshield wipers. Ugh. Um. Anyway, we just got our bedroom put back together. Our house was built in 1908. We've spent the last, ever how many years we've lived there, 20 something years, working on the house constantly. It's what I enjoy, so I'm not complaining about that. But then I hurt myself working on my old house. In 08, I had three back surgeries, got a brain infection, it was terrible. So, since 2008, I haven't touched the house, to, I mean, at all. And neither has Dan. And it looks like it. So, we got my bedroom put back together. I was slowly wanting to get, you know, get, a, get it put back together so that we could sell it. Dan wants to rent it. I don't want to rent it. I want to sell it. But anyway, um, so we can do that. And... Um, and that's what I want. I've been, you know, in my mind working toward. But I've been loving my new bedroom because it's the only room in the whole house that's completely put back together nice. So that's like my little sanctuary. And y'all know Dan is a hoarder. He has got some shit hoarded at my house. Like, I, I don't even show y'all because I'm embarrassed. I am totally embarrassed. Because I, I don't, I'm not saying I have OCD, but I have some OCD tendencies. I like a very clean space. I don't like very much stuff in it. Anyway, so my whole house, except my room, is full of shit. And the kitchen. I keep the kitchen cleaned out too because I can't handle all that mess in there when I'm trying to cook. It just makes me so anxious, y'all. The, 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 the clutter and the crap everywhere, it just makes me anxious, nervous, annoyed. It just gets on my nerves. Okay, you're dump truck is pretty but I don't want to follow you but anyway um okay so and there's like every room needs a little something done to it like our stove has been acting crazy there's this one burner that like you can cook on it or whatever and then you turn it down to low 
uh-uh. The burner goes, oh, she wants me to boil this shit? It goes like crazy sky high. And I tell Dan, you really need to get us a new stove because this one's gonna burn our house down. So Dan put, he um, made some chili beans. I don't know, as the day before. So yesterday, he puts the chili beans on the stove. Don't tell nobody he put the chili beans on the stove. My bedroom is not close to the kitchen, so I didn't smell it. Clay comes walking through to my bedroom. He goes, what is that burning? And I was like, I don't know. So I get up, and, and like, once I come out of my room, I can kind of smell it. But anyway, his beans is on fire. He done burnt the shit out of them beans. So I just scooted him over, turned it off, and scooted him over off of that burner. And then he came in a few minutes after that. And uh, I was already in my room annoyed that he put them beans on, on that jacked up burner. I've told him, you know that burner's jacked up. Don't burn the house down with it. Anyway. <clears throat> and didn't it, usually if you're going to put something on, tell me and I'll watch them for you. Anyway. Um, so I'm, I'm annoyed about that. But I'm not I didn't say nothing. And also, I had texted him. I said, what are you doing? And why did you put these beans on and leave? But he left his phone at the house. So, it's just like a million things just adding up into a pile. So, then he comes in. And he's mad at himself because he's messed up his beans. Because, you know, he, he just knew there was going to be some good. And they did look good. But, anyway, there was going to be some good beans. Sorry about this loud road, guys. We're going to get medicine field. That's what we do. That's just what we do. We go to Walmart. We get medicine field. I know what we do, man. Yeah. We just go get medicine bill and go to Walmart. <laughs> Poor Clay, man. Oh, he's got one of his new shirts on, y'all. Look, lean over here. Look. Oh, y'all. Guys, got his back cap on, too. Anyway, so Dan comes in mad at himself because he burned his damn beans. So, he calls himself going to take the beans outside and dump them out in the yard or whatever. Well, as he comes through my bedroom to get out the back door... He spills the pinto bean, uh, chili beans. It's not just pinto beans. Just pinto beans wouldn't have made a mess. They were chili beans. So they were orange. Like it jacked up my carpet. It's just orange. I was like, I literally started. I don't even. Did I start screaming, Clay? <laughs> I, was, I don't even know what I did. I hollered and I probably cussed like crazy. I was so mad. In my mind, I'm like, it's the only nice thing I own at the moment. And you gonna come in here and throw these beans from... Oh, and another thing. The door in our... Uh, leading to the outside from our bedroom. It only opens if you lift it up. You can't, like, normally, you know, we, we do it down and that's what opens it. No, no, no. It's jacked up. So, you can only lift it up and open the door. Well, that's what messed him up. He, you know, he was in a hurry. He said this hot uh, pan of beans. He pulls it down assuming he's fixing to go out well when it don't open he bumps the door and, and it's, that's what made him spill the beans and i was like if you would fix all this jacked up shit that i've asked you to fix around my house and i get it dan does this dan works really hard and i'm not it's not that he's lazy because he, he works really hard and i know he's done it all day he don't want to come home and do it at my house but then, then my house starts looking like a homeless person just we call it a squatters living in this old raggedy house you know we're squatters in some abandoned old raggedy house that's what my house starts looking like so I was I, I get annoyed at all the little broke things around our house that he doesn't fix and then it was a matter of all of those little broke things jacked the whole day up yesterday then he gets over there with just plain old water and he's getting with a rag. I'm like, Dan, don't touch it. Do not touch it because you're just going to make it worse. He gets over there with water. Water, y'all, with chili beans and a rag and he's trying to clean it up. Well, I should be thankful that he was trying to clean it up, but he was just making a mess. So I threw a little while like that. And anyway, I went to Walmart and I got some, some Resolve. And I got, he has a, uh, a big wet dry vac thing. So I got him to get me that. And I sat there with a bottle of hot water and then that bottle of Resolve. And I would squirt it and suck it back out. And I just, you know, I'd do Resolve and suck it back out. Water, suck it back out. Resolve, suck it back out. And I got it out. I mean, you can kind of still see. Where you going? I don't know. You can still kind of see a little bit. It's orange, but I mean, just I mean, if I didn't tell you that it was there, you would never see it. But but I, because I know it was there, 
and it was a spot about that long because you don't get spilled and splashed, you know. But anyway, I didn't think I was going to be able to get it that clean, so I was annoyed a lot, but I was able to get it a lot cleaner than I assumed. Because, you know, when you get that old orange, whatever, grease or whatever out of them chili beans, you never get that mess. That's like red mud. You just don't get it out. But anyway, how are you today, man? Good. He said now that it's three hours later and you've just been running your head for three hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we good. It's 67 degrees. It's overcast. Um, today is November the 5th. Tomorrow, we just in a boat. Well, I'm not. I've already voted. Um, Dan swears he's going to go vote. And he is, because I told him he was. He will, he'd have to move out of my house. He'd have to hunt him a new place to live if he don't go vote tomorrow. I'm serious. Oh, there goes the last truck light. Do we have something coming? I don't think so. I'm not that I know. Oh, hey, why don't you uh, message Daddy and tell him we saw the, we met the glass truck. Do we need to go catch him and, and get something off of it? Surely he don't have nothing in it. I don't think he's got anything coming right now, but I don't know. We'll be back in a minute. Ninety percent of them don't. Back up, what are you doing? Clay. <laughs> My favorite song come on the radio, so I turned it up high because I love this song. I can't let y'all hear it. I'm rocking y'all might have been hearing it. Uh some Cardi B. Yes, I'm crazy. I love Cardi B. Who's Cardi B? Yeah. She's a singer. Oh. She's a well, that's one. I know. I was just trying to tell you. Oh. Yeah, I was singing me some Cardi B. That me and Clay don't like the same music. Clay's a country man. I'm not a country man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, country's not bad. I'm not. I'm not hating on it. Sometimes I like country too. Some country, but uh, I'm. I'm. I'm more of. A, I want to shake my booty kind of music. <laughs> that's what I. I don't want to be like crying in my beer and you know. That's what country music is to me they always like they're sad and somebody didn't lift them they, you know I, I don't like that music I want to shake my butt and dance that's how we're different huh man yeah. Who you look what I just bought myself at Walmart y'all I found this little old hammer I got this because I normally hold a hammer right here under the head of it anyway and Dan always laughs at me so when I saw this little short handle hammer I had to buy it for myself and this uh Somebody already took it out of the package. Um, this pry bar, I'm fixing to get in there. Let me show you. Y'all, when I tell you I don't show you my house because Dan's got it a hot mess, that's what I'm talking about, y'all. I want this room. He had to cut the uh, he had to cut the floor out. He took some of the tile up and cut the floor out because this is where the duct work comes under the, like there's concrete. I don't know how to describe it. This is an old ass house. The duct work from the air condition comes under this floor right here to go in the rest of the house. But anyway, I want this room completely redone by Thanksgiving, truthfully. It's, today's November the 5th. I would really like it done by Thanksgiving because I want my Christmas trees up sometime little, you know, right around Thanksgiving. So I'm about to sit down here and bust this floor up so that I can get it done and he can get carpet down in here. So that's what I'm about to do. All right, y'all, I started back there. I've made my way over here and y'all, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I bought this little short hammer cause Dan always laughs at me because he said I choke up on the hammer like this when I should get down here on the end of it. Well, now I need one of them long ones because this crap keeps popping up and hitting me in my knuckles and it hurts. But I want this mess up because I want this room done. So here we go. Let me get finished. All right, y'all. I got almost to the edge, but I'm going to have to quit because y'all, it feels like I've been beating that out with my own knuckles because that little short hammer is not doing the trick. I'm going to have to get Dan to 
give me a big hammer because that's about to break my knuckles. But I'm going to get it. Y'all, I ordered some boots off of Amazon. And look, it didn't even come in a, a box, which I'm kind of glad of because I don't... I don't want to have to throw a box away. You know. Let's see. <laughs> so, that's what they look like. There's Miss Kitty on the bed with us. Hi, Miss Kitty. Oh, Miss Kitty, what are you doing? Anyway, yeah, that's what the boots look like. I think they're cute. Yeah, they're really cute. They're really inexpensive too, like $24 or something like that. Yeah, those are cute. Y'all, I'm out of breath. I've made it off of the other end. I gotta move this stuff. And this, so I can get up against the walls. But Dan left me with this big hammer today. Y'all, that makes a very fast job of busting this tile up. Not an easy one, but a fast one. But I can sit on my butt. That's what that towel's for. I've been sitting on my butt scooting across the floor. But I'm pouring sweat. So I'm going to go wipe my face down and get started again. Y'all, this is what I'm wearing today. It's probably going to be hot. This is my Arkansas Razorback um, shirt. I can't think of what I'm trying to say. It's like a sweatshirt. It's like fleece. So, I know it's, and like I can't cut the neck out of it because the hog is like too close to, anyway. This is probably hotter than I need because I never hardly need to wear anything this cold. But it does feel cold outside. And I, I have straightened up my bed. You can't really tell it, but... There's the pillows over there, and I do straighten it up, but guys, look, I got two blankets over my feet because my feet get so cold, but I've been editing on a video. It's taken me much longer than I thought it was going to, but I've got to go to Walmart with Clayman and pick up some, uh, some lunch and something else. I can't remember. Anyway, uh, I'm just hoping this shirt is not too hot. I remembered what I needed. This is the only, I mean, not the only reason I'm going for uh, y'all. By the way, I'll, I'll show y'all this when I get home. Clay, help me remember to show them the chicken when I get home. Oh. I'm going for that too. But uh, oh, my hair is a mess. But anyway, uh, oh, I meant to call Mama and tell her those wigs were on the way. Oh. Um, anyway, I need to call her and tell her that she's going to be getting a delivery. Uh, so she don't say, I didn't, I didn't order nothing. Because she'll flat tell them, won't she, Clay? Yeah. <laughs> uh, we sent Nana something. Uh, I, I just go on Amazon and order it and have it delivered to her house. And, uh, yeah, so she'll, like I did that. She needed a, 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 a dog stroller. She was going on vacation with one of my brothers. And she called and asked if she could borrow Chloe's uh, stroller. Well, y'all, I'm, uh, I'm a little bit embarrassed, but... It was still too new and I couldn't loan out Chloe's stroller. <laughs> I know that's crazy. I didn't want to loan out Chloe's and plus she had a boy dog at that time. So I just went on Amazon and ordered her a boy. Like I think I got her either red or blue. I can't remember. And uh, cause like Chloe's was zebra striped. Um, cause Chloe was black and white. So I got her a stroller that was black and white anyway. So I got mama a boy colored one. And then not long after that, she got rid of that. That little boy dog was just 10 times more than my mama could handle. He was a little men pen and he was wild as. So now she has a girl dog. So anyway, yeah, I couldn't, I didn't want to loan out Chloe's cause I just couldn't part with any of her stuff. Not that I was going to part with it. Should have give it back. But anyway, so I had her a stroller shipped to her house and I can't remember if I told her or not, but I think I remember her saying, I didn't order nothing. I, you know, and I was like, yeah, mama, that's, I, I sent that that's coming for you anyway. And I forgot to tell her, I had her, I sent three things up there. I think it was going to come today, yesterday and today. I don't even know. I didn't give her a call. But we're going to Walmart. This is what I, Jesus, my brain is all over the place. 
we have found some chicken clay. Does that chicken taste just like Chick-fil-A chicken? Now, y'all know I am a Chick-fil-A, or we are Chick-fil-A nuts. I can't handle it being crooked. We love us some Chick-fil-A, and I picked up some uh, chicken strips the other day, y'all, and I've always said this about Chick-fil-A. It's only a piece of chicken, a piece of bread, and two pickles, but it is the best chicken bread and pickles you will ever eat. This chicken strip tastes just, it tastes like, like it tastes like the bread, it tastes like the pickle, it tastes like the, it is freaking amazing. So we're going to go pick up some more of those. I'll show y'all the bag when I get home so that y'all know if you want to pick some up too. You can pick some up because let me tell y'all, that's dangerous. I don't even need that at my house because I will just eat it, but they're so good I can't go without and there, we don't have a Chick-fil-A really close to us, so when we get in a bind, we can still have some Chick-fil-A. I told y'all I would show you the tenders, the chicken tenders. These taste just like a Chick-fil-A sandwich, guys. Like, it tastes like the chicken, the bread, and the pickle. It is amazing. These are a Chick-fil-A knockoff like you just cannot imagine. It's the Southern Style Chicken by John Souls Foods. Southern Style Tenders, John Souls Foods, y'all. If you get a chance, pick some of these up. And if you do, let me know what you think because I think they are a Chick-fil-A dupe, like the best one there's ever been. Yeah. Oh, y'all. Are you tired, Clay Man? Yeah, me too. We've done all that. I gotta bust this little bit out now. And then, oh, and, and what I'm sitting on, I haven't done right here or any of that right there. So, but as soon as I get all the tile beat up, then I have to take this scraper thing right there and get all the mastic uh, scraped up off of it. So, Guys, I would never. Dan said, why don't we just go over it? And uh, at first I was like, yeah, that'll be fine. Because we were just going to go over it with carpet, which would have been fine. But right here, I think I've already told y'all this. He had to pull all this flooring up because that's where the air condition comes. Because we have like one of those big units in the back. It comes from the back. And uh, it runs under this floor. And that's how it gets to the rest of the house. So we had to cut that floor up, which meant, of course, there's going to be this jump off here and then a, you know, one over there. And he said, well, let me float it out. And I said, no, that'll look ugly. That'll look terrible. I don't want to do that. I'll just beat all this floor up. Somebody just beat me in my head. I had no idea how much work. Look, I'm just pouring sweat. And it's only about 50 something, 55 degrees today or whatever. But, uh... I'm dying. I'm tired. I'm sick of this floor. I'm sick of my house being dirty. But that's why I'm working on it because I don't want my house dirty anymore. I want it completely. I want to be able to walk through every bed and go, oh my God, I love it. It's so pretty and clean. And right now it's like, oh God, Dan's hoard is taking over. So it's fixing to get clean one way or the other. I'm going to have to divorce Dan so he can go live somewhere else with his hoard. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Clay's over there laughing. Hi, man. That's right. We're going to make Daddy take his hoard and live somewhere else. <laughs> anyway, we're fixing to put carpet in here. We're going to put, I think I'm going to put slip covers. These are really good couches. They were my mom's and she gave them to us. And they're so they're really, really good quality. But I don't like the color. So I'm going to try to find some pretty gray slip covers and slip cover the couches. If not, I'm going to buy some new couches. That piano is going to go in that bedroom over there. I don't want to throw it away and just be done with it. Uh, anyway, so yeah, we're getting there.